Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Soar Stero, and I am here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of April. What do we have for Libra for April? What do we have for Libra? Why? 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 So you may be asking that question, why? Let's, let's, let's see what the book has to say. Oh my goodness, I opened right up to it. Wow. That doesn't happen often. Motives driving intention, the power of knowing the why. There is great power in understanding your motives right now. The, the oracle asks you to be very clear about why you are asking this question, looking for this answer, behaving in this way, and most important, making this choice. Knowing your why is the key to fulfillment. When you are clear about it, your intention will then be a magnet for miracles. Motives define the nature of your experience. When you think about something, feel it, and then act on it. This invisible why is the life force energy within the seed, which brings it to life and holds the potential for growth. We don't always know why we engage in our relationships in the way we do, mostly because our feelings aren't always logical. Now is the time to recognize whether you are being triggered by someone else or if your behavior is motivated by unresolved issues in the past. When you ask yourself, why am I feeling like this? And why did I say that? And spend some time in introspection, the answers may be surprising. Listen to the messages from your intuition, from the knowing deep within you. What does it tell you about yourself and others? In the end, life is all about being loved, miracles, and a, and a deep understanding of your needs and how to get them met are buried treasures of the why. Uncover them by posing the most powerful question you can ask yourself and your partner today. Why? So you may need to ask questions. Ask questions of yourself. Knowing the motives behind your career in creative ventures is the ticket to your greatest success. It's time to ask yourself some probing questions. Are you driven by your desire to serve? Does your prosperity impact the greater good? When you envision your most prosperous life, you are guided by a sense of purpose or by a need to make money, acquire things, save for the future, or all of these. No motive is bad or good, but having agendas hidden from yourself will lead to disappointment and possibly failure. Be clear about why you want the things you do. If the motives are true, accept them. If they are not, change them so you can step into your extraordinary life. So I guess you're supposed to be questioning things this month. Question, you know, your motives. Why? Why do I need this? Why do I do this? Why am I saying this? Try to, try to ask yourself these questions before, but sometimes it will be after. Okay, so this will be a, a month of um, kind of like probing, probing into the whys of your life. So what do we have? You may, and I think that you're going to have something happen that really forces you to ask yourself why. So what do we have for Libra for April? Queen of Wands. Now the Queen of Wands is very confident, very determined, very proud, very strong. You're probably going to need to... Uh, I think that you're also going to be shining. You may be in the spotlight. If you take a look at this, I think we have somebody in the spotlight. You may be... You probably are going to be glowing. I think that you're going to be getting some special attention this month. People may be... Uh, well, I do think you're going to be getting some attention. You're probably going to, you may be at center stage, okay? Um, so, yeah, I think that you're going to be getting, I mean, you're going to be getting a lot of attention. You're going to be glowing. You're going to be shining. You could also be attending a celebration. I do expect for you to, uh, something, you're going to be smiling. Something is going to be happening. Somebody is going to be giving you a lot of attention and you're really going to be smiling by the attention that you're getting. Okay. 
So that's that's really good. You're going to be looking really good this month as well. It almost feels like you're the star. You're the star of the show. Emperor. I knew we had two. And the nine of wands. Now this is somebody that takes charge that is very orderly, very structured, stable. Making a decision based on facts. This is a very decisive, strong individual. Nine of Wands is uh, expecting trouble. You may be expecting trouble from somebody. You may be on guard, protecting yourself. This is very protective, and this is as well. But I'm going to put these like this. I feel as though you're in control this month. I feel like this is your energy, male or female. I feel like you are in a position of power this month. But I also feel like you have your defenses up. And I, maybe you maybe need to ask yourself why you have your, descents, your, your defenses up. You know? I feel like you... Uh, have earned some respect. Okay, you have. I think that you've earned some respect and I think you can, you can let your guard down. I think you're always ready to fight. You're ready to battle. You know, this is somebody that is battle ready. I, I feel like you need to take off some of that armor and open yourself up. I feel like you have a barrier around you. You... I think you have a lot of admirers and you may not know it. You may not you may not know it. You may be in protective mode, you know. Oh, there's something going on here where you need to open up. Now it's interesting because the emperor uses their head, not their heart. You know, and I and I kind of was when I was reading this card, it's it's about logic. You know, sometimes you need to just go with your heart. Open your heart. What I want to say is open your heart. This is like avoiding challenge. I think that you've had a lot of challenges. You've been wounded, right? This is the, your previous wounds that are keeping you guarded. I, look at the armor. You know, you need, to, you need to open yourself up. What the heck? Queen of Wands reversed. Mirroring the Queen of Wands upright. They're mirroring each other. Hmm. Aerophant. Some of you, you have a person that is definitely in a position of authority. You could be dealing with a father figure. Queen of Cups reversed. So we have some we have some people here. Ooh, Queen of Swords. So we have a lot of people in your life that are going to be affecting your life this month. Okay? You're gonna need to look at things from a new perspective. You may have to think fast. Be open-minded. I think you are going to be going through some challenges this month. This is challenges. They could be emotional challenges. Could have to do with your self-worth or self-love and opening your heart. You could also be receiving some sad news. I just got to be honest with you. you. Some of you are dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person may be bringing you some challenges, particularly in Aries. Could also be dealing with a Taurus. This has to do with a commitment or a father or a boss. We have a person that is in a position of authority that is making a decision. And I, this, this decision is going to be affecting you. It, and, you and you know, maybe you won't understand why they are making the decision that they are making. There's a decision that is being made and it is going to affect you. All right. I feel like uh, you can expect some sort of fireworks this month because those fireworks keep on popping out at me. So you can expect some fireworks. I think you're going to be facing some challenges. And, and, and these challenges may make you sad. They could make you cry. The Queen of Cups reverse is tears. It's sadness. There could be 
deep sadness. You know, there could be self-loathing. You could also deal be dealing with some jealousy this month because when you get multiple queens, okay, we got we got four of them. And I do think you are in a position of power. Okay, I really do. That's the sort of power. I think you are in a very powerful position, but I feel like there's probably going to be some gossip. There's jealousy. People are jealous of your glow. They're jealous of your beauty. They are, and I'm, I know that they are. Whether you are a male or you're a female, people, they're jealous of your title or they're jealous of your position. They may be jealous of your, uh, well, it's your position. Whatever position it is that you're in, they're jealous you definitely have some jealous and uh, jealous people and I think that's something you're going to be dealing with this month and I feel like you may have your guard up you may need to protect yourself I think that you've been dealing with this kind of stuff for a long time um, you definitely have somebody here that is malicious they talk behind your back it could be a mother or a father it's a family member by the looks of things um, or they just uh, bring a lot of challenges into your life. Um, I do think that you're going to have to be strong this month because you're going to be dealing with some sort of emotional setback because you are, you're dealing with somebody else's decision. This person, the other person, is making a decision that is going to affect you, and it may make you angry. You could you could get angry. There, there, this could be an angry outburst. You know, there's tears that are shed. You may have a hard time mastering your emotions. Um, We also have a show off here. So I'm not sure if that's you or the other person. Somebody that, I mean, that's what I just heard. We have this showing off. This person is showing off. So it could be this other, it could be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it could be anybody. We, I think we have somebody here that is showing off and they, they may get, um, you know, they may have a big ego and their ego may, uh, this is a wounded ego. Somebody has a wounded ego. And I'm not sure if you're dealing with a father figure or a boss or somebody. This is this the Hierophant is a person that is or an energy of highest authority, even higher than the Emperor. This is some sort of commitment. Somebody is, and this is highly committed as well. We have somebody here that is committed to do, taking action because the, the Queen of Wands is action oriented. So I wonder if somebody is going to be doing something. They may be doing something because they've been wounded, emotionally wounded. You have some manipulate. You have somebody here that is very manipulative. You do. This person is going to bring you challenges this month. So, beware of that. The Hierophant is a higher power. It's a direct connection to God. I'm not sure if you're going to be at going to church or this has something to do with a church or a gathering. I do believe that you are going to be asking yourself why. Why is this happening? Because it's in the plan. It's all part of the plan. This, is, this could be a marriage. It could be a funeral. This may have something to do with a job or a corporation or an organization. I do believe that there is going to be, I think there's going to be some news. I don't think it's, I think you're going to receive some news that it could make you angry. It could make you sad. This is, it can make you very emotional. What is this nine of wands? Determination. There's a lot of determination here. You're going to have to find your strength, seriously. You're going to need to find your strength to master your emotions. Something, seriously, I, there could be some tears shed. I'm just being honest. You may have jealous people around you or somebody that is hurting you. 
because out of spite, you know, this is somebody that is out of spite. It feels like you're dealing with a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could also be dealing with a father because we have a father here and a father here or a mother. This is emotionally challenged. So somebody is going to be emotionally challenged this month. I feel like you have jealousy around you. And I know that I've repeated myself. you got somebody here that is jealous. They may be jealous. Say you're a man and you're in control, you know. You, you, you're the pick of the litter. Say you're a man watching this. You're, pick, you're the pick of the litter. And there's multiple women here. There is go and maybe there's two jealous women here. There could be a fight. Okay, just saying, there could be a cat fight. I do believe that there is there is a couple jealous women here. Okay, and these women are jealous over a man. Okay, um, so that is for somebody, and there's 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 probably you know you could probably expect some trouble from a woman. Okay, male or female, if you're watching this, there's a woman here that is going to cause trouble. All right. This woman is jealous, whether she's jealous of the other woman or she's jealous of you or she's jealous of your work or your position, you have a jealous woman here. And this woman is, I was going to say, I hate to say it, out for blood, but that's what just came to my mind. Okay, she's ready to fight, this woman. And it's because, I feel like it's because she was reject, rejected in some way or she's just emotionally unstable. Seven of Wands reversed. Wow. So this is, uh, oh God, there's some sort of competition here. We have extreme competition. You are dealing with somebody that is highly competitive and does not like to lose. And if you think about the Seven of Wands, the Seven of Wands is about a position. It is. So somebody is losing their position. And they're pissed. They are pissed. Somebody is, is giving up. Okay? Where they're going to need to give up. Have faith. Because this Hierophant is a card of faith. It's also part of the plan. Okay? There's a higher power here involved. That is changing somebody's position. So there's going to be change. Of, this could have to do with a hierarchy or a hierarchy or a legacy. Okay. There's a change in position. There is. Could be at the job. On the job. Could have to do with a relationship. Okay. There is another person here that is involved. There is. And there's, there's going to be a shift in positions. All right. We have a person that is in a position of authority that is making a decision. This decision is being made um, based on their gut, based on faith, based on experience. This person is has thought about it, has received maybe some sort of guidance that it's time. You know, there's some sort of guidance here, spiritual guidance or something like that. They've received the the advice that they need whether it's from their gut or whatever the advice has been received to uh, what are they gonna do that seven of wands reversed is a fall from power of some sort i don't know what the hell is going on there could be some slander here with the seven of wands reversed this is a uh, Stepping down, stepping down from a position. Somebody is stepping down. This person is weak, okay? They aren't, it's not going to last. That's what I mean. That's what it is. This person's going to fight, but they're going to end. Eventually, they're, they're admitting their defeat. Here, here, this is, it starts out in the upright. This is taking action, you know, on fire, causing fireworks, and then stepping down. 
stepping down from that position. Somebody is stepping down from their position. They are. They're going to, they are. Whether they're being forced to step down or not. Queen of Wands reverse. This is somebody that is very, very, this is like revengeful. We have a revengeful, self-righteous, controlling, overly proud individual who has a self-image problem that causes a lot of drama. This person is going to it's because they've lost their position. It feels like they're throwing a hissy fit. It feels like they're throwing a fit, you know, because they want attention. They want attention. They're used to getting attention. Gossip as well. You're going to be dealing with a gossip this month. This person can't keep their mouth shut because they can't master their emotions. The best thing for you to do is remain in control. But the emperor is battle ready. Be ready to fight. And I hate to tell people to be ready to fight, but I think that you know, be ready for a fight. I do believe that, you know, you may have to be and I hate to say that, but be ready for a fight or a battle. There could also be a ruler that is making a decision, and it could be God, it could be a higher power that is making a decision. There is a very significant decision that is being made and somebody is going to flip out over the decision that is made. I do feel as though you are, you may be making the decision. I do believe that you are in a position of power or the power is going to be given to you. All right. The power is going to be given to you. There's some sort of foul play here. There's nasty behavior. And I feel like... I feel like there's... Uh, yeah, you may be wounded. Or you may be hurt by this whole situation. But I think that you're going to persevere. I do. I think that you're going to persevere. The position, the title is now going to be yours. And I think in the end... Everybody's going to be saluting you, you know, you made it, you did it. Even though this is sad, you know, it's, it's sad, it's sad. So there's some sort of uh, sad situation that is unfolding and you may not know why it's happening, but it is, ha there's a higher power involved. That's why it's happening. There is a change in position. Somebody is, this is a fall from grace. And the position's being given to you. And you got one nasty individual who is going to be very unhappy. So, uh, you're in charge. You're in charge. You're the boss, whatever that means. Good luck.